animals like humans share a basic set of emotions, anger, happiness, sadness. Um, however, more complex emotions, pride, joy, uh, jealousy, are probably the sole domain of human beings. Yet many dog owners will claim that their animals feel the full range of feelings that we humans do. The question is, who's right, the scientists or the dog owners? Can or are there spirits that possess the Miami Circle? Several medicine men from tribal Americas think so. And they think that innocent people who work in and around the circle might end up with some powerful problems. We're producing black holes now at the Large Hadron Collider outside Geneva, Switzerland, where I do my research. We're also looking for things like extra dimensions, for supersymmetric partners to the particles we see in our everyday lives, like the electron or the quarks that make up protons and neutrons. We're trying to find all these things that, that a few years ago sounded like science fiction. Now we think that these are extensions to supersymmetrical theories that we describe with string theory. These theories now can be probed and tested, and we're doing just that outside Geneva, Switzerland. Come to dinner with me. I'd like to talk to you further about this. The question of what is art is one that is almost impossible to define and um, very broad and by contemporary definition. However, um, one thing that is a fact is that we continue to make art whatever our definition of art is. What fascinates me and perplexes me is why do we continue to make art? Why is it so important to us? What part of us does it speak to? One of the things is perhaps it's just simply decoration to, to make pretty pictures that make us happy to look at, but I think it's, it's deeper than that. Um, in many ways, art is an attempt to become immortal. You, um, Rembrandt lived 400 years ago, but we all know who he is through his paintings. So in a sense, uh, art is an attempt to defeat death. But another thing is that art can be um, something that advances an agenda, that challenges us, that immortalizes not just ourselves as people, but our ideas. Um, there, there are many things. It can be decorative, confrontational, transcendental. But it's perhaps best summarized by um, the painter William de Kooning, who said that if you think about it, it's ridiculous to take this wet substance, this pigment, and put it on a flat surface to make an ear. But then, once you know how to do that, it's more ridiculous not to do it. <laughs>